friends today in this video we are going to discuss about the five kingdom classification system okay which is introduced by r h whitaker in 1969 okay so in this video we are going to discuss about the topic that is the five kingdom classification system okay so at first we have to know what is five kingdom classification system so it is a system which places all the living things into one of the five basic kingdoms it places all the living things into five basic kingdoms okay so so these five kingdoms are monera or prokaryote more specifically monera that is next is the protista next fungi planty and animalia so these are the all five kingdoms where all the living things all the living uh, organisms are present okay so what is monera so monera is the kingdom of prokaryotes in monera all the prokaryotic organisms are placed in protista kingdoms or kingdoms kingdoms of unicellular eukaryotes are present all the unicellular eukaryotes are present in this protista group okay next is fungi so in the kingdom of fungi all the multicellular decomposer which decompose the foods or chemical compounds so all the multicellular decomposers are present in this fungi group okay and next is the planty so in this kingdom the multicellular producers producers means they produce or they uh, make their own produce their own uh, foods so that means the plants so this planty in the planty kingdom all the multicellular producers uh, who are photosynth who uh, can do photosynthesis or can perform photosynthesis okay so they are multicellular producers so all the multicellular producers are present in this planty group and the in the animalia group that is the last group in where the uh, that is the kingdom of multicellular consumers so all the consumers multicellular consumers are present in this animalia who are were heterotrophs so cannot make their own foods okay they cannot uh, perform photosynthesis okay so they are animalia all the multicellular consum consumers are present in this animalia kingdom okay so now let's discuss about the criteria of classification so what are the criteria of this five kingdom classification so first criteria is the complexity of cell structure so depending on the different type of cell structure de depending on the complexity of cell structure the organisms living organisms are divided into two groups that are the prokaryotic group and eukaryotic group so here we can see that this is the five kingdom classification system so here all the organisms are divided into two groups that are the prokaryotes and eukaryotes so all the prokaryotic organisms are placed in this monera kingdom monera kingdom okay so this is the first criteria that is the complexity of cell structure and in by this criteria organisms are divided into prokaryotes and eukaryotes and the next criteria is complexity of organisms so depending on this criteria the complexity of organisms organisms are divided into two groups that are the unicellular group and multicellular group so here we can see this eukaryotic groups are divided into two groups that are the unicellular group and multicellular unicellular means they have only one cell and multicellular means they have multi cell or more than one cells okay so this unicellular all the unicellular organisms that means all the unicellular and eukaryotic organisms are placed in this protista group okay so next is the and this multicellular organisms are divided into next into two groups that are the with cell wall and without cell wall okay that means this with cell wall means they have cell wall in their out of uh, as a protection and this is the without cell wall so with all the organisms which are eukaryotes multicellular and without cell wall contain without cell wall they are placed in this animalia group all the eukaryotic and multicellular and which organisms are eukaryotic eukaryotes multicellular and without cell wall they are placed in this animalia group and 
this weep cell wall group are divided into two groups that is the do not one is the do not perform photosynthesis they comes to this fungi kingdom and next is the which organisms which which are uh, which have cell wall but able to perform this photosynthesis they cannot perform photo, do not perform photosynthesis but they able to perform photosynthesis which organisms perform photosynthesis they placed in this planty group so this fungi in the fungi kingdom all the organisms which are eukaryotes unicellular uh, sorry eukaryotes multicellular with cell wall and do not perform photosynthesis which organisms have this criteria they are placed in this fungi group fungi kingdom okay and <coughs> and all the organisms living organisms which are eukaryotes multicellular and contain cell wall and also able to perform photosynthesis they are they are in they are put in this planty kingdom okay so in this way all the organisms are divided into or placed into this five kingdoms okay so this is the criteria to divide them or classify them okay so another criteria of classification is mode of nutrition so depending on this mode of nutrition criteria these uh, organisms living organisms are divided into photo autotrophs that means uh, in in plant in planty kingdom all the organisms are photo autotrophs and in uh, fungi group all the organisms are absorptive heterotrophy or saprophytic and in animals all are ingestive heterotrophy that means they ingest the foods like animals like animal like a human insects all are ingestive heterotrophy they ingest directly ingest foods but in fungi the heterotrophy is absorptive they absorb the food okay so this is the difference so depending on the mode of nutrition the they are divided into photo autotrophy absorptive heterotrophy and ingestive heterotrophy okay so now the next criteria is ecological lifestyle so depending on the ecological lifestyle the organisms are classified into three groups that is the producer which are plants all the plants are producer they make their own foods that means they are autotrophy or they are they able to perform photosynthesis okay and next is the consumer consumers all the animals are consumer type of ecological lifestyle they lead and decomposers all the decomposers are fungi who decompose the chemical chemical compounds to earn their foods or on their energy to take their energy okay and the last criteria to classify the living organisms is the phylogenetic relationship so depending on the phylogenetic relations relationships so they are divided into prokaryotes to eukaryotes and unicellular to multicellular okay so these are the criteria for classification and this is the base by which the organisms are classified that is organisms is divided into prokaryotes and eukaryotes all prokaryotes are monera and in eukaryotes they are divided into two unicellular and multicellular all multi all unicellular are protista and multicellular further divided into two that is with cell wall and without cell wall so without cell wall is animalia and with cell wall all the without cell wall organisms are placed in animalia and with cell wall is divided into further two do not perform photosynthesis so which organisms do not perform photosynthesis they are placed in fungi group and all the uh, organisms which able to perform photosynthesis are placed in planty group okay so in this way the five kingdom classification works or all the living organisms are divided into five kingdoms okay so now here are the here is the characteristics of five kingdoms so first characteristic is the cell type so depending on the cell type the monera is prokaryotes but the other all the kingdoms are eukaryotes so here also we can see that the monera is prokaryotes but other all other all kingdoms are eukaryotes okay so next is the cell organization so cell organization means 
whether the organism is unicellular or multicellular so monera is unicellular protista is also unicellular mostly but fungi is multicellular only exception is yeast so yeast is a unicellular fungi but other uh, fungi are multicellular and planty and animalia all are multicellular okay so cell wall is so in monera cell wall is present and cell wall uh, composition is peptidoglycan so uh, their uh, their cell wall is com uh, consist of peptidoglycan okay so in protista have many many protista have uh, cell wall and in fungi the the cell wall type is chitin the cell wall composition is chitin and in planty the cellulose is the main composition of cell wall but in animalia there is no cell wall is present so in mode of nutrition in monera autotroph autotroph heterotroph both are present so autotroph in autotroph there is a photosynthesis or chemosynthesis photosynthesis means they use their energy from light and in chemosynthesis means they use their chem they use the chemical bonds or chemical compounds to take their energy okay and in heterotrophs there are saprophyte and parasites which are present in monera kingdom so in uh, protista kingdom the autotrophic all the organisms are autotrophic that means photo synth photo synth synthetic or heterotrophic okay and in fungi there are two types there is one type that is the heterotroph but their heterotrophic relation is saprophytic or parasitic and in planty all the organisms are autotrophic that means they can perform photosynthesis and in animalia they are all are heterotrophs okay so for example in monera the examples are eubacteria and archaea and in protista they are chrysophyta dinoflagellates euglenoids and slime molds and protozoans all are present in protozoa kingdom and in fungi kingdom it is the yeast mold mushrooms okay and in planty kingdoms that are the mosses fern and flowering plants are present okay and in animalia the insects birds fish are present so these are the examples of these kingdoms different kingdoms okay so now let's discuss about the advantages of five kingdom classification so what are the advantages of this five kingdom classification of white acres so first advantage is uh, so previously there was the three kingdom classification so their three kingdom is the protista planty and protista planty and animalia so there are three kingdom classification is present previously so what is the advantage in next when the five kingdom classification is arrived so the first is the separation of prokaryotes in a separate kingdom of monera so previously all the prokaryotes and also unicellulars are present multicellulars or uh, unicellulars are also present in protista all are all prokaryotes are shared in the protista group but in this five kingdom classification the prokaryotes all the prokaryotes are separated into kingdom monera so as prokaryotes differ from all other organisms in their genetic cellular reproductive and physiological organization from others okay so this is the advantage and the next advantage is the introduction of fungi so fungi have never been related to plants they have their own biochemical physiological and structural organization separation of fungi into a separate kingdom was an another advantage so in three kingdom there is the protista planty and animalia but here in the five kingdom classification there are five groups that is the protist uh, that is the monera protista fungi planty and animalia so uh, there is a advantage of adding monera all the prokaryotes present in the monera so it is this is the advantage and another advantage is introducing the fungi in the different kingdom okay so these are the advantage and the next is drawbacks of five kingdom classification what are the disadvantage so first disadvantage or drawbacks is the viruses have not been included in this system of classification no viruses are placed in any kind of five kingdom classification okay so this is an disadvantage and next is the archaebacteria archaebacteria differ from 
other bacterian structure composition and physiology but they are present in monera all monera all the prokaryotes are present in monera so archive as the archibacteria differ from other bacteria in structure so they should be in different uh, kingdom so this is and drawbacks another is protista protista has so many diversities that it is difficult to keep them together for example protista contain both world and world and wallless organisms photosynthetic photosynthetic and non -photo photosynthetic organisms unicellular and filamentous or mycel mycelial organisms so they have very much varieties in their own so this is an disadvantage and another disadvantage or drawbacks is the unicellular algae unicellular algae are kept in kingdom protista unicellular algae is uh, kept in protista whereas algae like multicellular organisms are kept in kingdom planty so but similar organisms must be present together so unicellular algae is present in the protista but uh, multicellular algae are present in kingdom planty so they are divided into different groups so but similar organisms must be present in together so this is an another drawbacks of five kingdom classification system okay so these are the all about the five kingdom classification system of whitaker okay thank you for watching this video